All right, we are going to be sublimating some air fresheners for a company. So I wanted to do a tutorial on this, on how to press these. So what I usually do is I make the image a lot bigger than the air freshener. Um, you don't have to do it as much as that, but I was doing several different sizes. So I just made them all the same size um, just to make it easier on myself. So what I do is I put this down, take the air freshener, and I gauge the middle of it and just slide it down so that the phone number and logo is centered. And I make sure on each one I leave the same gap at the top and the bottom. I just kind of eyeball it as long as it's pretty close. That's all that matters. And then you just flip it over and put it on the heat press. I'm going to be doing uh, a bunch of these, so I'm just going to do the same thing for each one. And then I just use heat tape just on the very edge. You can also use adhesive spray if you prefer. I don't like to use adhesive spray unless I have to because it gets messy. They wanted two sided, so I'm going to do the other side after we get these ones done. And I do as many as I can at one time. I don't like to put too many in the press at once because then they start. Uh, pressing on even if you get too many in there at once. So this is usually a pretty good amount. I do about eight of them at a time. I do these wholesale for uh, businesses. Usually people order about 20 to 50 of them at a time. And they're pretty cheap uh, for people to give away to customers just as advertisement. My press is a 16 by 23 press. So I could probably do another row of these if I wanted to, but like I said, sometimes if you get too many things in there at once, it doesn't press very evenly with it being such a big press. When it comes to the thicker items anyway. Alright, so we are going to press these for 70 seconds at 400 degrees. Sixty seconds isn't quite long enough. They come out kind of light if I do them only for sixty seconds. So we're gonna do them for 70 with high pressure. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're getting ready to open this back up and pull them out. And then we're going to do the other side. I always recommend heat gloves, but I don't personally like to wear them unless I have to. It's too hard to grab stuff. So, we'll just pull these up. And peel it off, and that's what we get. And we're going to do that for each one. They're not super hot when they come off. Uh, they cool off fairly quick. So by the time I grab them, they're not really that hot. And we're just going to keep pulling them off and setting them to the side to cool off for a second. 
and then we're gonna replace all the paper and do the other side. This order is for like 20 of them. I already did a bunch of them and figured I would go ahead and throw up a tutorial real quick. These are super easy. Um, they're really good sellers if you put your own designs on them. And we can go over also how you can scent them and package them. All right. So let's go ahead and lay down some new paper. Always want to protect the bottom and the top of your press with fresh paper because these do get a little overspray on the bottom with the bleed line. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing as we did before on the blank side, center it and just slide it down, make sure it's straight. Use a tiny little piece of tape and I usually tend to put the tape wherever the lightest spot in the design is. If you put it on the dark spot, sometimes it will uh, make that spot a little bit lighter. It might be noticeable, so. I'm just careful about placement of the tape. Just enough so that it doesn't move when it gets laid down or the press comes up. I got these air fresheners actually off of Amazon. I know a lot of people sell the blanks in the different groups and stuff, but these are actually fairly cheap if you get them on Amazon and they come with the packaging and the strings and everything. So the only thing you got to buy separate is the fragrances and I just use the essential oils and I did buy some different scents from Etsy. I like to support small businesses. So I do buy some, uh, Handmade scents made by small businesses on Etsy. And they had like the good ones too, like the Fruit Loops and the Apple Harvest and things like that. A lot of people like the new car smell, so that's a popular one. I don't personally care for it, but teach their own. Okay, we're almost there. One more to do after this. paper on top. And press for another 70 seconds. And then we'll be right back. Alright, we're getting ready to pull these out. And they will be done. Both sides are done. And then they are ready to be scented and packaged. The package does help keep the scent in there. It's a 
the packaging of them after something them is really important. So this is what we got. It's probably backwards to you guys because the video is mirrored. sell these wholesale double-sided uh, between two and three dollars depending on how many they're buying. I sell them retail anywhere from five dollars to ten dollars depending on if they want like a extra spray bottle. I do provide a tiny little spray bottle if they want to respray their air freshener. Just depends on the size of the air freshener and if they want that extra little bottle to rescent it later. All right, we'll be back in a minute and I'll show you how to string and package them. Okay, so now it is time to put our air fresheners together. So we're just going to take the strings that come with the kit, slide it through the little hole there. And you just tie it and you can choose not to tie them and let the customer tie them but I usually just go ahead and do it and then I put down a paper towel and I usually use about three of them because these oils will go through one so I use a third one just to make sure and I just lay it down there and this is uh, oils and I dilute it with just a little bit of water so it's not like super oily or mess up the color of the uh, air freshener. So you're just gonna do a spray on that side, flip it over. I usually do two. Then you're gonna wanna kinda let it air dry for a second. You don't want to put it in the baggie too wet, but you don't want to leave it out sitting too long because you want to preserve the, the scent. And just slip it in the bag and seal it so that the scent kind of just sits in there until they open it. And there you go. And you can use the one, the bags that come with the kit. Like I said, I got these on Amazon and it came with everything. Or like if you're like me, I have to hang mine in the store. So you can either put a hole in this with a hole puncher or you can put it in a different baggie if you prefer. I just usually um, hole punch them. But that's how easy it is to make air fresheners. Thanks for watching.